Greetings and salutations, hello and good morning. So what do I do with my spent mushroom fruiting blocks? Let's find out in today's video. Well, there are a number of things that you can do with them, but first of all, when is a block considered spent? Well, for me, it's when I can no longer justify picking up room in the fruiting chamber and would rather replace it with a fresh block. So at that point, I'll take it out and I will usually just put it into that little fence skin area that you saw and I'll allow them to decompose and continue to produce. Uh, I built a little fence just to keep chickens out of it because uh, they'll go in and scratch and destroy all the blocks, uh, you know, looking for the bugs that begin to inhabit them, and scratching for the original grain that was part of the farm that went into them. Uh, now, I've seen people take spent blocks, as long as it's not too contaminated, <coughs> break them apart and mix them with new substrate to continue to produce mushroom blocks. I tried that once, didn't have hardly any success, maybe about 5% uh, success rate, and so therefore I never tried it again. But there are people that do that. They'll break them up and mix them with pasteurized straw or uh, some other kind of substrate and allow them to continue to produce. Now keep in mind that these blocks will produce and produce and produce for several, several months. Uh, I've gotten upwards of seven or eight flushes out of a single block. And you know, obviously by the end of that, it's uh, not producing very much. Maybe, you know, a single mushroom in, in the, uh, in the lower couple of ounces range, but uh, they will continue to produce. So what I consider to be a spent block, and what you consider to be a spent block, as somebody who is uh, maybe purchased one of my road kits or something like that, uh, we might have a little bit of a different view on that. You can also, people bury them sometimes. I'm not a big fan of that method because, you know, in order to emerge from the soil, <coughs> it's got to become covered in dirt, and oftentimes it's very hard to clean. So, not really my preferred method. Uh, so if you do what I'm doing out here, you can take a little bit of straw and uh, you know, cover it just to retain moisture, uh, which will increase any future yield. You can also conquer them up and uh, feed them to your farm animals. If you have any, the chickens seem to be interested in them, although I suspect that you know, like I said, they're probably just scratching around for the spring. So I do intend to make a lot more mushroom cultivation oriented content in the near future. Admittedly, it's taken me a little bit longer to get this channel off of the ground than I originally anticipated, but that gives me something to strive for, and if everything went right all the time, I just don't know what I would do with myself. So, if you like this sort of content and you want to see more in the future, please make sure to like this video, leave me a comment, tell me what you thought, maybe give me ideas for what you want to see in the future, and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next week.